packing guys it's the 27th of december the day after boxing day and actually we've been out and we haven't seen a soul <laughs> so nobody else is doing this it's actually extremely foggy um so it's not great riding conditions at all um but i just wanted to bring you a little bit of video out of cash um there's laura up in front on cash so i will make her apologies that she's definitely not looking her best that's the horse not laura laura's got a new wellies and equi gems on um but we've just been through the muddiest lane it's actually called muddy lane it, and it literally is the muddiest lane so that's why you've got a mucky cash up in front which is a shame really because she's got the most beautiful feathers i don't know if you can actually grasp how because obviously they're wet and they're muddy but if you look she's got very um nice long straight feathers not them real dense feathers she's got them quite once they're clean she's got them sort of silky feathers um she's quite a tall cob she'd be about 15 hands 15 one um as i say laura's one of our taller riders um at five foot seven she's quite tall so she carries a, a taller rider very nicely and she's a real nice stamp of a cob because she's not a huge heavyweight but at the same time you know there's plenty of body to her there's plenty of size to her as well um she's 11 years old and she's actually only left the stable in the last seven seven days for about 20 a short 15 20 minute hack on christmas eve with jess um so as with all of them they've all not done a great deal as it's christmas um but our horses in particular don't always get turned out and we haven't turned them out over the christmas period and so the last time she was ridden was last friday when i took her on the christmas ride if anybody if you actually saw that video we went down the busiest main road it's an excellent video worth watching if you're interested in any of these um, but since that, she's only left the stable once. And um, this just shows, it's just testament to what a good horse. Not just her, we've got Daisy out with us as well. And Troy, those are the same as well. Both those two have only been on one hack since last Friday. So I'm always, always looking for these sort of horses. And they are literally impossible to find. There's no way I would have opted opted to have this many horses in over the christmas period but when you've got a chance to buy horses like this you just can't turn it down because i spend my life looking for them so cash i ended up waiting a little while for her for quite a few weeks for her because she was actually um on the college she was working livery on, on the college and she wasn't available till they broke up for the christmas holidays so i had to wait patiently for her or else i would have bought her this bought you all this cob two months ago if it would have been up to me she's used for all the college lessons um she pops all the jumps so she was used on the, some of the jumping lessons and the grid work lessons and that sort of stuff the flat work um the stable management and what she did do which was one of her specialities she was one of the riding and road safety horses both used for the training and the exam as well so they're not going to use um, a horse on a BHS exam that, on a riding and road safety that's not good. That's not riding and road safe. So um, that's her and she definitely proved that. She hacks out on her own. She's very easy to deal with in the stable. She hacks out on her own. Obviously in company, she goes in front. She goes behind. She's not spooky. She's good in all the traffic. Her actual owner has done quite a bit of um, dressage with her as well. So she rides nicely on the flat. She rides in an outline. Um, she really does know her job on the flat, actually. So she's and she's good to load up in a trailer and take to different events on her own. She's been she's done that with her ride her owner, who is a more mature rider, who's done all that sort of stuff with her. She's done all the local shows has actually got a little trace clip that's growing out as per most of them so we may redo that if we get chance but this cob is a real um rare opportunity to, to be honest we rarely find the bay traditional cobs they're not very common to find a nice bay like her you could clip out the feathers and pull the mane and she'd look like um like a hunter cob to be honest so that's a personal preference really but her types are are quite hard to find um they are you know quite striking 
and to find them her size as well is always difficult and again she's not strong she's not sharp but she's not lazy she's just that in the middle of ride we really are super lucky to have the bunch of horses that we've got at the minute to be able to just get on these and i don't know if you can quite grasp just how foggy it is so to hack out in the poor visibility and to feel safe on these horses when they've only left the stable once in a week then it just is testament to just how good they are so if you're interested in cash keep an eye out or drop me a message thank you